It's Monday! <laughs> it's a week after my surgery and it is time to get my bandages removed. So, I'm excited. I didn't sleep that well last night, actually. I was caught up editing some other videos and I just couldn't... I was almost done, so I was like, I just want to finish. So I ended up staying up way later than I should have, just so I could finish it. Um, yeah. So I'm on very little sleep, trying to wake up, but it's gonna be good. I'm so ready for this. And by the way, <laughs> y'all don't worry because I know it looks like, I mean, it's, I am, I'm driving with my camera in my hand and talking to the camera, but someone else brought this up in a video post that I put on Instagram and uh, they're like, Who's driving that car? Because if you're looking at that camera while you're driving, then I'm mad at you. <laughs> Which, that's why I'm wearing these sunglasses, because it looks like, you know, I could potentially be making eye contact with you right now, but I'm not. I'm looking at the road. My face is just tilted towards the camera, so that's my little trick for you for today. <laughs> so don't worry. I'm driving safely. I'm looking at the road. But I'm also talking to you guys and tilting my face towards you so it looks like I'm engaging with you. Anyway, please don't be mad at me. This then, okay. I'm gonna take your bit off. Um, I will. Yep. Is I also want you to record me taking off the tape and the sutures. So make sure you turn the camera a little bit. Get that on camera, did she? I was set, set on that mirror. I don't cuss. Okay. I think it's a restaurant. Yeah, right. go ahead. I'm gonna set Can you just set them up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set so them up. I can up. record the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, tees. Tees. <laughs> All right. So, first, gonna take the tape off gently. Beautiful new chin. I'm gonna take the suture out before I show you how amazing it looks. And you're not even gonna be able to tell where I worked. You're just gonna see a beautiful new profile. Handsome, yet very, very natural. And actually didn't swell that much. What did you do to um, prevent swelling? Just the medicine that you gave me. You just, you just have really good genes, huh? Guys. Oh, this looks amazing. Okay, you are gonna be astounded by this. I'm gonna take off my headlight, sit you up, and show it to you. This is my favorite part. This looks so good. <laughs> oh shit. Whoa. Whoa. Crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. That's insane. Oh my god. I could kiss you right now. <laughs> oh my god. That's my chin. That's your chin. That's insane. Yeah, it's perfect. Wow. Perfect for you. Jesus. Thank you. My pleasure. 
My pleasure. Well, you're a good-looking guy. You just need a little bit of augmentation right here. This profile is just magic. So you just need a little bit of augmentation right there to, you know, top it off. So get your profile looking, okay. looking perfect. So. I'm gonna stop looking at myself. <laughs> enjoy it. You have the rest of your life to, to look at yourself and to enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So nothing to do. There's no real care for this. Basically, yeah. just live your life and uh, enjoy it. <clears throat> so, Jim, how long? Uh, I'd give yourself another like four or five days, okay. and then you can you can start hitting it. Okay. If I um, were to go and do like cardio with that, mm, you probably get a little bit of swelling at this point. Okay. I don't think it would damage anything. It's I would say I would say probably wait another few days. I think I'd be more comfortable with that. I usually say two weeks, but okay. I've made such a nice tight pocket for you. There's not much. It can't. It's not going to move or anything. How so. does it stay? It's tight pocket on each side. Really nice tight pocket. And it's it was so nicely customized the pocket for it that like what does you that couldn't mean the pocket? basically um, it sits on the bone right so it yeah. feels l like it's a natural part of your body but on each side it has to go right on top of the bone underneath the layer that covers the bone called the periosteum so uh -huh. I make it just tight enough so it fits there without moving in fact you don't even need to secure it with um, with a suture I do it anyway just because yeah. why not just you know, just secure it. But if I would have, even would have left it alone, it would have never moved. So this is one that'll stay exactly symmetric where it is for the rest of your life, and it's wow. not gonna move. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, my man. All right. My pleasure. It was my pleasure. Yeah. yeah, I'm super excited about the look, man. It's awesome. Me too. Good. Um, it's good. It's a little bit. It's a little bit swollen. You can see yeah. the only thing you have a little bit of restriction moving your mouth and stuff. A little tiny okay. bit. That's bit. that's yeah. normal. Okay. That'll all that'll all loosen yeah. up and be nice and um, give me give me my phone. It'll be nice and um, nice and loose. Let's do a, like a little 360 kind of thing. Elsie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So this is a chin augmentation at one week. Look how great that looks all the way around. Male chin augmentation. Beautiful. And it'll come down over time a tiny bit. Okay. So we'll come down a little bit. A little bit, yeah. It's a little, there's always an envelope of... Go ahead and smile big. Relax. Smile big. And relax. Good. I'm going to come around you this way. So one week, chin og, male chin og. Go ahead and smile big. Relax. Perfect. And smile big one more time. Relax. <laughs> so crazy. Hey guys, thanks for watching this two part series on my chin implant surgery and the whole journey and experience. I hope that it was informative, maybe a little entertaining. If you missed the first part, I'll go ahead and link that above in a card so you can watch that too. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I was honestly pretty nervous about sharing this because I know how polarizing the topic of any kind of augmentation or uh, plastic surgery or anything like that can be for a lot of people. A lot of people are so viscerally against it, uh, including my mom. <laughs> but you know, she knows I'm my own person and I'm gonna go ahead and do things that I wanna do because it's, it's my life at the end of the day. And um, she, you know, she expressed her concerns about it and really didn't want me to, to do it. But when all is said and done, I did it, I'm happy with it, I love it, I'm really happy with it. And she's, you know, loves me and supports me the same regardless, so. So yeah, I was, I, I was rest, why can't I speak? So, so yeah, I was reticent, that's the word, reticent, okay. So yeah, I was reticent to, to share something that's really intimate and that is so contentious for a lot of people, but Given my channel and how open and transparent I am with you guys, I want to keep things that way and, and always show all aspects of my life regardless of how they might be accepted by you guys. So, And I know some of you have already told me, Rafe, this is not, you did not need a chin implant. And I know, I agree. I didn't need it. It's not something that I needed. It was, it was just something that I wanted for myself. I knew that, you know, it was going to make me feel good. Um, it was going to make me happy, um, it was going to give me a little more confidence when I'm doing photo shoots and stuff like that because I know my profile is where, where I want it to be aesthetically, it's just, it's just something that I really wanted and um, 
it's really as simple as that. It doesn't have to be something deep or, or insinuates things about uh, my feelings of self-worth or stuff like that. It, it's, it's, I look at it with the lightness of something that's a hobby, you know, like aesthetically, I have um, shaped my body the way that I can by working out and stuff like that. The face is something that you can't really touch naturally. So that was just something I wanted to modify. It doesn't hurt me, it doesn't hurt my, my health, it doesn't um, you know, put me at risk or danger at this point in my life. So it just made sense. It was something that I could easily do and I did it. I'm happy about it. It's exactly what I wanted. So no regrets, no looking back, YOLO. I say. And then on another note, there are a lot of people that get this kind of work done. A lot. But very few people actually are open about it and are willing to talk about it. So again, in the same vein as the rest of my channel, I, I, I saw this as an opportunity for you guys to see um, what that's like, what the experience is like. But just, Aside from something you would see on like a TV show or something like that. On a more like personal level, you can see what my experience was. So anyway, thank you guys for sticking by me. I appreciate all the love and support that you always, always give me. And you regulars that I always see in the comments that are posting on every single video, I appreciate it so much. It's good to see you guys. Um, yeah, I have a lot more content coming for you. I'm excited. I'm working hard all the time now. Um, you probably have seen my videos with AHF recently, AIDS Healthcare Foundations. I've partnered with them. So all the videos I do with them are in direct partnerships with AIDS Healthcare Foundation. And if you've seen, if you've seen any of my recent vlogs, then you've already seen me with my new chin because I've had it for, I don't know, maybe like a month and a half now. So, but I highly doubt that anybody's noticed because it's super natural looking. Even my parents, when they saw me the first time after, didn't even realize and I had to be like, hey, you like my new chin? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, it's natural. Didn't even, didn't even realize, didn't even occur to me. And, and that's been my experience with most people. So that was the goal. I just wanted to make it a little more masculine, a little more pronounced and super happy with the way that turned out. So I hope you guys are all doing great. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. That's a huge goal of mine. So it looks like I'll probably hit that by June 1st, so that'll be really exciting. 10,000 is a big deal for like influencers, especially on YouTube, because that'll open up a lot of doors um, as far as opportunities to work with different brands and stuff like that, so I'm excited about that, and it just shows me that you guys appreciate the content that I'm putting out there, that I'm providing value to you, that you guys are entertained, being informed, and of course, with the daily messages that I'm getting, and I try to post on Instagram stories, Facebook stories, my daily motivation, Check that out if you haven't seen that before. My, I'll have the links to all my social media below. And you can see just the awesome, cool messages that I get from you guys every single day from all over the world. Um, just so appreciative of, in particular, my content on HIV, AIDS, and stuff like that. So, all right, you guys. I will see you soon. Stay tuned and have an awesome week. Cheers.